Hey, this is Trout Bitten. Thanks for joining me. Today I want to share with you one of the best streamer presentations that I know. I think it's my favorite. I call this the head flip. It's the best trigger that I have to seal the deal on a tough trout. This works with any streamer, big, small, heavy, or light. Um, I've shown this on the Trout Bitten website. Uh, we've talked about this on the podcast. I've shown it in some of these videos and I've shared this with many of my friends. The head flip is something I use every day out here because it works in so many situations. Are you ready? Here we go. Yeah? You're good. All right. I always like it when we get that out of the way. All right, so what is the head flip? Put simply, it's a change in the orientation of the streamer or a change in the head direction, the head of the streamer, which way it's facing. Uh, the head flips. So let's say the head goes from down and across to up and across or whatever direction you want to change it in. Let's look at it. All right, so let's say the current is moving from your left to your right and you have the head of the streamer face down and across and then somewhere in the drift, you're gonna flip it to up and across. You just change in the orientation of the streamer. So the head flips here from down and across to up and across. So you might do this multiple times throughout the drift or maybe just once, but I often do a double flip where I'll flip the head and then flip it right back just a second or two later. I think the double head flip is especially good for this. I think it looks like a small bait fish that's trying to right itself in the current. It pauses for a moment and then falters again. Trout notice the head of a streamer because they think our streamer's a bait fish and they certainly notice the head and the head position of those bait fish. Trout don't care about the orientation, uh, the head orientation of a dry fly or a nymph. Those food forms are too small, but on a bigger food form, I mean, they often will attack the head. We know this, elite head first uh, on, of a bait fish. Trout think our streamers are small fish, so they are gonna notice too where that head is so they know where the bait fish is gonna go next. So here's the main reason I think the head flip works so well. I think it shows a moment of vulnerability or an opportunity for the trout to eat it. Think about how many bait fish or small fish that a trout sees in a day. How many is it? A hundred? I don't know. You know, it depends on the river and the situations. But how many of those do they eat? Not very many. Trout are looking for an easy meal, I think. A lot of times they're, they're gonna clean up the dead, or especially the dying or the damaged, the vulnerable prey. That's what they eat the most. And that's what I think the head flip gives them a chance to see. It shows that opportunity of vulnerability. This video is sponsored by Smith Creek. They've been manufacturing high-end fishing accessories for over a decade. Smith Creek makes some of my favorite gear that I use out here every day. And I really wanna show you the net holster. I bought this net holster when it first came out and I've used it every day on the water since. That's easily a couple thousand days on the water, no joke. And the net holster works as good as new. So the standard way of carrying your net by attaching it to your, you know, the back of your vest or to your pack just isn't for me. I've always liked carrying the net on my hips, having the weight on my hips instead of my shoulders. It just makes a lot more sense. This heavy gauge UV resistant nylon webbing is fully adjustable and will accommodate any net handle. Nets do not slip out. In all these years, I've never lost a net this way, and that's why I don't even tether it, although you certainly can. Carrying your net in a holster this way is the easiest solution around, and I love it. The Smith Creek net holster comes in black, red, or green, strong anodized aluminum. All right, last thing here, Smith Creek also makes a sturdy wading belt that fits perfectly with this net holster. You can get both items and a net leash in a value bundle on Amazon, and I'll link to this in the description below. Also, you can use the code TROUTBITTEN10 for a discount of 10% on any Smith Creek item in their Amazon store. Thanks to Smith Creek for supporting the Trout Bitten project. All right, so how do we fish it? I use the head flip a lot and I mix it in with other presentations. I often use the head flip at the front side of a rock or any other structure where I really wanna get the trout's attention. The head flip is great because it animates the fly without moving it through the current. Think about that. Almost all other streamer presentations, whether we're stripping or jerking the fly, we're moving it through the water, across currents, or, or if we're jigging it up and down. That moves the fly through the water. But what you're seeing here with the head flip is that it, it doesn't have to, it really doesn't 
move through the water, it just changes its orientation. I think that's a really big deal, that's a key point. So let me mention too that you really need to be across from the streamer to make this work. You can't really do a head flip, you know, on a, on a downstream swing. I can't change that head direction very much. Likewise, I can't really get a good head flip if I'm fishing upstream. I can sort of change the direction, but I can get a really good flip when I'm across stream from my fly. Now I've intentionally not talked about what rig to use with the head flip. The truth is with all these streamer presentations, you can use many different rigs to make the fly move the way you want it to. That said, I think it's difficult to really get a good head flip on a sinking line setup because there's so much line in the water, there's so much mass to kind of reposition and get a nice flip, it's pretty hard. Um, you can do it really well though with a tight line or a mono rig setup because you have that ultimate control, you're, you're in contact with the head of the streamer, you can reposition it really at any moment. Of course you can use a floating line and a standard leader too. You can often mend the line on the water to flip the head. Just think about how you want to move the streamer and the rig that you have in your hands and how you can kind of make both things work together to get the look that you want to get. The head flip's a good one. Hope it works for you. Um, fish hard friends and have fun out there. That'd be great though. Like a. Ah! <laughs> you got the audio? And I just can't live without you. Boom, boom, boom. Baby, come back. Where'd that come from? I've eaten it. The hook's stick in your stomach, blinding. Position that and get the head to flip. Uh, on the flip side, on the contrary, you can do it pretty well with that was too much.